Hey, yeah, a movie would be great. Yep, just let me check, hold on. Actually, nope, I am totally broke. No, another time. Yeah, it's a sad time for everybody. Yes, I'm, yeah, all right, talk to you later. Sorry, bye. I'd love to see that movie, but uh, I'm totally broke. Hey everyone, I'm Alex, thanks for clicking, and welcome to this lesson on talking about money. So in this lesson, I'm going to look at some ways that you can talk about your level of wealth, um, how to talk about money when you go out to a restaurant with your friends, or just how to talk about your own spending habits if you're someone who doesn't like spending money specifically. So let's start by talking about your level of wealth. So this means how much money you actually have. Um, here are some ways to talk about being poor. So if you are broke, this means you have zero dollars in your bank account or zero yen or whatever currency you are using. So you can tell your friends, I'm broke, meaning I have no money, I have zero dollars, zero yen, zero one, uh, whatever it is that, you know, you use. Um, so you heard me on the phone. I can't go to the movie because I'm broke, okay? Um, a person who is living check to check. You can also say living paycheck to paycheck is someone who might be renting an apartment or maybe they have a mortgage um, on a house, but they can't really save money because they need the money that they have from their job to pay for their rent um, and to pay for the basics of life, the necessities of life, such as food and, you know, gas and electricity and rent, for example. So if you are living paycheck to paycheck, this means you are living from, I guess in most places, it's week to week or every two weeks, if you get paid every two weeks. So, you know, you can't wait for payday. You're living check to check to check, and uh, maybe you're not able to save a lot of money, unfortunately. So this is uh, the situation for, for quite a few people, unfortunately. Um, rich, so if you are rich, this means you have a lot of money. Um, one slang term that you can use to talk about a person who is rich is loaded. So think of loaded as full, right? So someone's pockets are full of money. They are loaded with money. Uh, that person is loaded. That person is rich. So you can talk about uh, people like Bill Gates uh, being loaded. He has a lot of money. Well off. Uh, someone is well off. This means they don't struggle financially. They have a good life and are financially secure. Uh, they don't have to worry about, you know, where their next check is coming from. They don't live check to check. Uh, they are well off. So you can say, oh, my cousin is really well off. He doesn't have to worry about money. Um, maybe he doesn't even have to worry about uh, working or missing a month of work, for example. Okay, so once more, just repeat after me. Broke, living check to check, loaded, well off. Okay, good. Um, next, let's talk about spending habits. Specifically, let's talk about people who don't like to spend money. Um, so. The most common word for this uh, type of person who doesn't like to spend money and holds on to it uh, is cheap. Now, cheap has a negative connotation. If you want, you know, if you want to talk about someone who is financially responsible and, you know, being cheap in a positive way, um, you can use the word frugal. So frugal means you know, you don't spend a lot. You don't need the newest phone, the newest clothes, the newest shoes. Um, you just need the basics. You are a frugal person. 
you're not cheap. Cheap means you just don't like spending money.、Uh, you don't like, for example, maybe you're the friend when you go out with your friends, and you always forget your wallet、uh, because you don't want to pay for your meal. So it's like, ah,、oh, sorry, I I forgot my wallet. Can you pay?、Um, that person can be seen as cheap. Okay, so cheap, and I'll pay you back. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, Dan. I'm still waiting for those five dollars from six years ago.、Uh, cheap, negative connotation. Frugal, positive or neutral connotation, and a penny pincher. So a penny is one cent.、Um, in Canada, pennies don't exist anymore.、Uh, in the United States, at the time of this video,、uh, pennies still exist, but the term penny pincher still exists.、Uh, so P- to pinch is to do this, ow, to a person. Pinch, pinch, pinch. So imagine someone gripping, holding a penny very tightly, like they're pinching the penny.、Um, so a penny pincher, negative meaning, just like cheap. So if I say, oh, my aunt is a real penny pincher. She doesn't want to take the money out of her purse.、Um, I think. My favorite expression that I have ever heard to talk about a cheap person. I had a student from Mexico, and he said, "Oh yeah, we say that you have T-Rex arms, right? So your your arms can't reach your wallet like a Tyrannosaurus Rex."、Uh, we don't have that in English, but I love the image of a Tyrannosaurus Rex trying to you know pay for something, but they can't get their wallet. Okay, so these are again cheap, and let's repeat. Cheap, frugal, a penny pincher. Excellent, good. Okay.、Um, now, what about when you go out to a restaurant? So you can split the bill、uh, with your friends. If, for example, you pay for half and your friend pays for half of your meal, if you go to、uh, any type of restaurant. This is called splitting the bill. So to split is to divide equally,、uh, maybe in two, three, four. In most places now,、um, at least you know in North America, a lot of places will always give you、um, individual bills or individual receipts.、Um, but it's still possible sometimes, you know, to split the bill for for a meal with someone. Uh, meaning, you pay your side, your share, and I will pay my share or my side of the bill. Okay, so want to split the bill, right? Want to split it? So split, divide. You can use this to talk about dividing money.、Um, next, okay. If you are a nice person and you want to pay for your friend or pay for your group of friends when you're going out,、uh, you can say. A lot of different phrases, a lot of different sentences, such as "Don't worry, I'll cover you." So if you cover someone, this means you will pay for them, right? So you cover cover the money that they have to pay,、uh, maybe to go to a movie theater, or maybe if you are going to a theme park with roller coasters, and you say, "No, no, I invited you. Don't worry, you're coming with me. I will cover you." Okay. You can also say, "I'll get it." That wonderful verb "get," right? We use it in so many different contexts. You can use it to talk about paying for somebody. You can say, "No, no, don't worry, don't worry. I'll get it. I'll pay for the coffee." Okay. Or just, "Don't worry, I got it." Okay. So I got it. I will get it. I got it. Either one of these two、uh, will work.、Um, and finally, these last two. It's on me. On me. This means again, I will pay. You do not have to pay. The bill is not on your head. It's on my head. It's on me. Okay. So whatever it is,、uh, lunch, coffee, anything like that. And finally, you can say, "It's my treat," or just, "Don't worry, my treat. I will pay. It's my gift to you.、Uh, my present to you." My treat.、Uh, you don't have to pay. I am inviting you, and I will pay. Okay. All right. Now 
Let's look at some bank expressions and uh, some other financial expressions that you can use about money. Okay, let's review that bank vocabulary. If you want a more expanded look at the bank vocabulary I'm going to cover in this part of the lesson, you can check out my other lesson on bank vocabulary. There I give you a lot more vocab than I do here. But for now, let's look at what I have here. So using the ATM. Uh, the ATM is the machine that you use to put money in or to get money out. So let's look at some nouns and verbs that you can use to put money in or to take money out. Let's look at the first two sentences. I need to make a withdrawal. I need to withdraw some money. So a withdrawal here, this is a noun, you make a withdrawal. So the verb is important, make a withdrawal. Or you can just use the verb withdraw. Both of these sentences mean that you need to take money out from your bank account because you want to have cash in your wallet, right? So you can say, I need to withdraw $40 or I need to withdraw $20. I need to take money out of my account. Uh, just look at the spelling difference. They're almost exactly the same except in the noun withdrawal, you have A-L at the end and withdraw, just D-R-A-W at the end. Okay, so just repeat after me. I need to make a withdrawal. I need to withdraw some money. Okay, good. And next, if you want to make a deposit, maybe it was your birthday and your aunt gave you $100 uh, or someone gave you money and you want to put that money in the bank, you need to deposit that money. Or again, the verb is make and you can make a deposit. So I need to make a deposit. I need to deposit some money. Just like here, I need to deposit some money. Both of these sentences mean you want to put money into your account. You're not taking it you know, out. You're putting money into the bank. Okay, so repeat after me. I need to make a deposit. I need to deposit some money. Beautiful. Okay. And finally, let's look at some currency vocabulary. So this will include some slang expressions for money that maybe you have already heard in television shows and films and um, some very common vocabulary that you use to talk about coins. Okay. So uh, you might have heard, you know, the word bucks in a lot of movies and TV shows. Uh, bucks is slang for dollars. So you can say 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, 50 bucks. This all means $10, $20, $100, $50. Okay, so if you hear 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, a buck, a buck is $1. It all means dollars, 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 dollars. Okay, a grand. A grand refers to $1,000, $1,000. So you can say, you know, my car cost uh, 30 grand or 20 grand. Uh, this means $1,000 or $30,000 or $20,000. Uh, two grand, three grand, four grand, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. Um, so again, a grand always means 1,000. Now, Let's look at some vocabulary that you can use to talk about different coins, okay? So if you have a coin that is 25 cents, this is called a quarter, okay? So 25 cents is a quarter. I'm specifically talking about the North American context right now. So 25 cents is a quarter. 10 cents is a dime. 
five cents is a nickel and one cent is a penny. Now, if you come to Canada, you will not see pennies anymore, but they do have them in the United States, uh, like I mentioned before. So just repeat after me, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, a penny. Good. And if you're old like I am, uh, maybe you're familiar with the days when arcades were alive and most arcades cost a quarter to play, except for the big ones where usually they cost like a dollar to play. Uh, but most arcades, they're coming back. There's like barcades now um, where you can still just pay for, you know, all you, uh, there's like all you can play fees uh, or some of them still just charge a quarter, like back in the good old days, okay? All right, finally, some more Canadian content, Canadian context for you. If you ever visit Canada um, and you hear the words loony or toony, these are the names for our $1 coin and our $2 coins. They look like this. Where did I put them here? Ah, there we go. So that is a loony. Hopefully you can see that. You can also do a Google image search. Ouch, my back. And this is a toonie. So that's a $2 coin um, in Canada. Okay. So repeat after me. A loony. A toonie. Okay. So, hey, do you have a loony? Do you have a toonie? Uh, it sounds funny, right? Because two, but you say toonie, a toonie for $2 coin. Okay, guys, that's it. So we did a lot of money-related vocabulary in this lesson. Now, if you want to test your understanding of everything we have covered here, as always, you can check out the quiz on ingvid.com. Uh, while you're there, check out you know, all of our other videos. Don't forget to hit subscribe on my YouTube channel if you're watching it on YouTube. Uh, make sure you sign up for notifications. So click that bell button that everybody else is telling you to do, including myself. Um, and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I am still active on both of those platforms. Until next time, thanks for clicking.